all right guys so i am back with another tutorial today we are going to remodel some interior doors you guys um we have an older home our condo is older so we hated all of the brown wood doors it's so old it's so old-fashioned so we're gonna update these and we found some really cool designs that we're gonna do so i'm gonna start with the garage door so this is my front porch uh, i literally just kind of have the door um, across the railing um, over here because our deck is really really sturdy so I already sanded the top of the door I also did like the edges um, and then I have these we went to Lowe's and we have some thin pieces of wood cut so I'm going to sand all the way around the raw edges they're still kind of raw and then I'm going to position we took measurements before we went to Lowe's so I'm going to position my wood um, how I want it um, after we after I get it sanded. Then I'm going to take my yardstick. Some of you guys know I'm a fashion designer. So uh, I have a yardstick. I'm going to make some markings. For example, I'm going to draw a straight line just to make sure that my boards are even when I glue these on. So I'm going to see see how high I can go up for you guys I'm going to position these see exactly how I want these and the design that I'm doing for these is very very simple once I get these in position I'm going to glue them on using using this liquid nails um, I kind of messed up my container so I'm gonna you know scoop this out and I'm gonna put it on the planks once I get them in position I'm gonna glue them on and then I'm going to paint the entire door um, with the planks included so everything is gonna be one solid color but I'm using these planks just to give the door some texture we also took off all of the hardware all of the hinges the doorknobs and instead of buying new ones I want to try this metallic spray paint that I've been seeing promoted in some of my craft groups. I'm going to use the metallic spray paint, spray all of the hardware. I actually already have that done down there on the ground. And I'm going to put those back on after the door dries, okay? So I wanted to say that on the front end. I'm about to get to work. I pretty much just told you exactly what I'm doing. And I will show you the finished result. All right, so I have my planks exactly how I want them laying on this door. Um, if you are unfamiliar with like how to do markings, I'll try my best to explain this to you. All right, so what I did was where the doorknob is, uh, right on the top of the doorknob, I turned my yardstick this way. I took that measurement and I made a mark at the halfway mark. Okay, then what I did was I took half of that and I took half of this and I made little bitty marks. Okay, so you can see where right here it says half. Then I did, so since this is my halfway mark, okay, and this is the top of my door, now I need half of that measurement. That's the little notch that I did here. And it's okay to write in pencil, you guys. I'm painting my door black. So uh, keep that in mind. And then because I want it exactly centered, I just measured the board. And I put a half mark there. So what I'm literally going to do is just align those two notches. Okay? I'm trying to do it with one hand and record. There you go. And I'm going to do the same thing here. You may be able to see my notch on the door and my notch on the board. Okay? So then on this end, I already glued this one down. Um, I got it exactly where I want. On the bottom of the door, I'm only going to do one board. So... The bottom half was a little bit easier to do. Um, I already glued it on with the liquid nails and I'll show you what I did for that since I broke my container. No big deal. I didn't want to go buy another um, holder, you know, the little squeezy thing. So I didn't. So now I'm going to take this measurement, okay, because my hinges go here. And so I stayed about an inch and a half away. I want to make sure all of my boards are about an inch and a half away so that this side of the door is completely aligned those planks are completely aligned what i did over here 
I literally took my pencil and I traced all the way around the board again it's okay because I'm painting my door black nobody's gonna see those pencil marks so I traced all the way around flipped it over put my glue on it and then I knew exactly exactly to the T how my board was going to lay let me show y'all how I rigged up my liquid nails so for my liquid nails what I did was just use my painter stick so I scooped it out and I literally was able to just it, it actually made it pretty easy um and I was just able to spread it all over my board so I wanted to show y'all that I'm about to glue my other two planks down then the only part left for this is just to paint the entire door so really really simple design okay so for my next door um i i ran out of plastic uh, on my deck so i just have down um just a cloth that i use for pretty much everything diy i have my door down here all of the hardware is taken off i like to use these sanding sheets uh, I'm just going to lightly sand it. I'm going to take my wet towel, wipe it down, and I'm just painting this door. I already did the back side of the door. This is the front side of the door. So I'm just going to paint it. Literally, after I sand it, I'm going to paint, let dry, paint with a second coat. And then I will show you how I do the design for this door. Okay, so this is the design that we are going with for the next door design. All right, so I have it all painted, it's dry, and then we purchased these um, sticks. They're called dowels, and they are wooden sticks. Uh, I went through and I spray painted these with a metallic spray paint. I'll put that in the comments. And they, you know, my husband got all of the measurements together and had these cut. Um, you can you can get this done at Lowe's. You can get it done at Home Depot. They're really inexpensive. Only about I think we pay a dollar a stick. They come really really long. So again, we had these cut. Uh, we're doing two door designs like this. Two different doors like this. So the measurements are different for those two doors. So I'm not gonna drop the measurements of the sticks that we use. We did go with about three different sizes, as you can see. Um, but it will all be on your door and the measurements that you want. So you'll have to kind of play around with it. I say do it on the front end before you go and purchase like your supplies and everything. Get all of your measurements down packed. So it's just a metallic spray paint. And now we're just going to position. We're going to, you know, get this cleaned up a little bit. Get the sticks closer. We already did one door and it turned out really, really good. So I can't wait to show y'all. Okay, so what we're doing to get this just kind of completely even is we just took a cup. It's just a coffee cup um, and we put it down because that's about like how our doorknob um, is going to sit. So what I'm going to do is we, we put the coffee cup down. We're just kind of still playing around with the dowels. And then I'm going to take a pencil, just a regular pencil, and I'm going to lightly trace a curve so that when I put my glue we're using caulk you guys the clear caulk on the back of these so when I do the caulking I can know where the you know the tops of the dowel should touch and then we'll be able to lay them exactly how it looks with this cup if that makes sense all right so yeah all right so this is the caulk that we're using okay so using a regular caulk gun and you want to use clear I know typically you might be used to using like the white but we'll use clear because it's going to dry clear and even if there's a little spillage outside you know the edges of the sticks you can um you know it'll dry clear so it won't be that big of a deal um if you notice when i spray painted mine i did the sides i did the top and the back side i really didn't focus on because that's where I'm going to glue it. So I wanted to show that. When you put the caulk on, you want to do as thin of a layer as possible, but I've been taking my finger and just smearing the caulk on here. Still keep it thick, but just smear it on, clean up the edges kind of as you go, and then I'll hand the stick to my husband and we'll place it that way. So teamwork definitely for this. Um, and I'll show you guys the end result. All right, so 
this is the finished result um, I have some touch-up spots to do um, this wall is actually it's gonna be light gray really light gray that's the color we're going with throughout and the floors have to be redone but this is it I love it this is the pantry this is the garage let me zoom in so you guys can see the texture we add it to the door and then this is the half bath 